All right, folks, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I had a request to come in, and uh, the request came in from, oh, this guy right here. So let's go ahead and look at it. I've blown the question up and everything, so we can look at it. Oh, we have here a limiting reactant type excess uh, problem. Now, luckily they gave us the balanced equation, but they never ask us to find the limiting reactant. And they never mention to us which product they want us to find. Now when they do this, it's kind of mean in a way because it makes you t stop and think, what do I do? What do I do? And uh, I always hated these and everything when I first started doing these problems. But it's not horrible. It just takes some getting used to. So let me show you what we need to do first. First thing we need to do is we need to label what was given to us. Here they tell us that they're going to give us 36 liters of H2. So I'm just going to come over here and write 36 liters right here. Okay. And then uh, of the H2 it reacts with 12 liters of this. So then I'm going to put a 12 here. Okay. Now I did that. In the problem, <laughs> They never ask about this. They just told us it was in the problem. And that's a bummer, like I said. Now, there are some other things that you need to know. Uh, when you're dealing with uh, volumes of gases, you need to know this magical number, 22.414. Uh, uh, I make my students memorize all of that, but it, technically it's not necessary. Usually 22.4 is good enough, but anyway. To make the other chemistry teacher not get so mad, I'm going to say 22.414 is equal to one mole. And remember, this is for one mole of a gas. Okay, Amadeo Avogadro. But anyway, there's this number that we need to keep in mind. Now, yeah, I know that circling was just absolutely horrible. So, anyway, there's that. Still horrible, but still. All right, let me show you what you need to do. What we need to do is we need to compare the molar ratio. Uh, the molar ratios of the two reactants. So let's just set up some uh, stoichiometric problems, which is basically dimensional analysis, so we can do this. All right, so I'm going to start off with uh, 36 liters of H2 because that's what was given to me. Now, I'm going to put this amount over 1 because it's my given, and my given always goes over 1. Now, Dimensional analysis, stoichiometric problems, whatever you want to call them, uh, whichever one makes you feel comfortable. Technically, we're not allowed to directly relate liters to moles, so we need to use this 22.414 liters to do so. Uh, that's what Amadeo Avogadro uh, helped us do. Anyway, we're going to type that in here. Well, I'm going to try to write with a mouse. I really need to upgrade and get a pen. But anyway, 22.414 goes right there. Liters. Okay. Now remember, this will be for one mole of the gas that I'm currently looking at. And that gas that I'm currently dealing with is H2. Okay. Now, the reason why this is so helpful now is I can actually use the balanced equation because remember the balanced equation is in moles. It's not in liters. Okay. Now up here I've got four H2s. So that's what goes down here. Four. Because remember the first time you write moles uh, usually down here is say volume or it could be molar mass or you know uh, wherever you converted your kilograms to grams. But still your molar mass would be here or volume would be down here. But the first time you write moles you know, you just need to be leery that the second and third step is going to be a molar ratio normally. Okay, and right here I'm going to write four because from the balanced equation I have my molar ratios. That's the uh, where I use the large numbers, the coefficients in the balanced equation. So I'm going to put a four here, and that would be four moles of H2. Now, what was the other reactant? Well. Looking at the balanced equation, the other reactant was this uh, CS2. And I've only got one of those because there's not a number in the front, so that's automatically known to be one. One mole of CS2. Sorry, it's late, so I'm just like.
tired. C S two. Anyway, we're we're done with that one. Okay, we're done with its setup. Okay, let's set up the other one. We'll get a calculator here in a minute and just do the calculations together. Anyway, um, let's set up the next one. We've got 12 liters of CS2. I know this is so exciting. Just watch a guy right with the mouse. But anyway, hopefully you're paying attention to where I'm putting everything. Now, once again, I need to somehow relate liters to moles. That's where I'm going to use Amadeo Avogadro. Okay, so here we go, 22.414. Now, you're probably thinking, you know, wait, Amadeo Avogadro was that 6.02 times 10 to 23rd. Yeah, I know, but, you know, there's also a connection with the 22.414 because, he, you know, he said equal volumes of gases at the same time. Uh, Standard temper, standard temperature and pressure. But anyway, there we go. Liters. Woo! What a L that is. Ugly. But anyway, that's liters. I know it doesn't really. I, I'm not convinced either. So let's fix that. Anyway, liters L. Okay. Now up here again, I'm gonna write one mole, and this is one mole of what? This was for one mole of the gas I'm currently talking about. I'm trying to go from a volume to moles. CS2. Yeah, there we go. Now, molar ratio, I'm going to look at the balanced equation because that was the first time I wrote moles. Here comes the second and third step. So I've got one mole of CS2. And up on top, I'm going to have the four moles of the H2 because that's what I'm trying to go to. I, remember, I marked out these two products because they, they never mentioned them in the problem. And that's a bummer because it, it just makes the problem weird. You know, weird meaning not common, you know, but I guess it becomes more common sense when you actually get to work one of these, okay? Now, if, now if you're not careful, you can you can uh, make boo-boos on these problems. I know I said boo-boo, but anyway, um, let's grab a calculator really quickly and let's punch these suckers in, okay? Uh, we've got this 36, so I'm going to type in 36. And this 36 is going to be divided by the 22.414. Okay, it's also going to be divided by that 4. Now look, that gives me uh, 40153. Okay, as far as sig figs, technically I'm supposed to just use 2, but I think to make sure that we see everything in its entirety, let's use, say, 4. I, I just like that number. I'm, I'm breaking chemistry rules, so I'm sorry. Anyway, that was, I think, 0. What was that, like 415 or something? 4015, yeah. 4015. And that's going to be moles of what's on the top of the last line. CS2. Okay. Now, here we do the same thing. Get our calculator, we'll clear it out. We have 12 times 4 is 48, and that 48 is being divided by 22.414. Okay, now that gives us that number. Now I want to keep the number in the front, the 2, and keep four numbers behind it, just just to do it. Okay, so that's going to be 2 point, uh, what was that, I think 1415, 1415. But if you're not sure, go back and look. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. We're good. We're good. All right, and that's going to be moles of H2. Now, let's talk about these numbers for a second. All right. <clears throat> moles of... Oh, yeah, H2. Now, we need to figure out which one is the excess. These two numbers are important, okay? Um... Notice that they both have different uh, reactants. That's okay. Uh, on this part, we're just concerned about the smallest number. Okay, this one is our smallest number. Okay, smallest number. That's small. This one down here is big. <laughs> I know the words I use, but yes, this is big. Big number, big compared to the other number. Okay. Now, the small number tells us that 
VH2 is our limiting reactant. So that tells us that H2 is our limiting reactant. So LR is our limiting, uh, excuse me, LR stands for limiting reactant. So H2 is the limiting reactant. Now as far as uh, our excess, it's the other one. So our excess is going to be uh, CS2. Now, this is good. Now, since we know that this is our excess, then let's try to figure out what this number, the 12, let me change the colors real quick, uh, the uh, 12 liters of CS2 has in connection with this moles of CS2. Well, first thing I need to do is I need to convert this into liters, and I'm going to do that just by multiplying this number by 22.414. Okay, so let's do that on the calculator really quickly. Clear that out. Uh, 0 0.4015 times 22.414. For. And I have to do that just so I can get a volume. Now, if you look at that, that number, this 8.99999, that's pretty much the number 9. Okay? That's 9. Okay? Now, that's 9 what? Well, that's 9 liters of CS2. All right. Now, let's, let's explain this. Okay? If H2 is our limiting reactant, H2 can only make up to this amount of CS2, which in liters is 9 liters of CS2. So it only needs to use up to this 9 liters of C, uh, excuse me, nine, only make, not make up to, but it only needs to use 9 liters of the CS2. It does not need to use 12 liters of the CS2, which is what we originally started with. So we're going to take the 12 liters of CS2. which is carbon disulfide, and subtract the 9 liters of the CS2. And what we're doing is we're subtracting out only the amount that is going to be used in their reaction. And this 3 liters now of CS2 ends up being the amount of excess. Okay? So the amount of excess remaining. Anyway, guys, I hope that this was helpful. I'll, I'll finish clicking with my mouse eventually. Anyway, this ends up being the amount of excess. Okay, so anyway, I hope that this was helpful and I hope it wasn't too confusing. It's been a while since I had explained one of these, so y'all have a great summer.